Okay, uh, not too far from the last stop here. We're in a sort of a steep, sledgy side hill with a lot of many large red spruce scattered around. Uh, you can see one blown down there, uprooted, I guess. Uh, and this is a, the reserve, of course, is somewhat famous for these old spruce trees. The other composition here is under right under these spruces is some beech, which is diseased. You'll see this shortly. Um, this is a 12-inch beech that's badly cankered, so that there's no escaping this, even out in the wild reserve. Um, and then, sadly, we have uh, this, this, I saw this spruce from a long way away. It's obviously very large, over at least a two-foot spruce, maybe 26 inches. We don't have a tape, which is uncharacteristic, whatever. Uh, sadly, this tree is stone dead, and if you look, if we zoom in here look closely, you'll see why. This is now a very rare, once common, but now very rare insect, the spruce bark beetle, Dendrochinus, Piscipurda, means in Latin, I think, the uh, beetle for which spruce is afraid. You can see the pitch galleries here, and you can just see just countless little exit holes from the uh, the beetle emerging after laying eggs in the cambium and essentially girdling this uh, beautiful old spruce tree. This uh, tree is thought to only, sorry, the insect is only thought to inhabit uh, trees that with at least 18 inches, dbh, and that's because it requires thick bark, which only uh, develops in these very large spruce trees. So. Since we don't have many spruce trees like this around on the main landscape anymore, it's hard to find beetle ex damage unless you go into these old growth reserves where they exist or did exist. The, the other spruces that are somewhat smaller right nearby are perfectly healthy. So um, this, is, this can reach outbreak status. It did in the 1880s, named by Hopkins, the entomologist who named most of the dendrochinus beetles early on, uh, about 130 years ago now, I guess it was. So we'll probably find more of these, uh, but it's not reached epidemic status, like it hasn't wiped out the whole stand here, at least yet, but we'll see.